Okay, I promised I would go through the settings on the A7S Mark II, and here we go. I'm going to go right down here. And by the way, everybody complains about this menu system. I think once you get everything set up right, it's not that big a deal. I don't have to dive into the menu system that often. But you can see I have RAW and JPEG set up just because right now Mac does not, the new Mac OS does not support the RAW. Usually it takes about a month or so when these cameras come out for RAW to be supported. So I'm doing RAW and JPEG for now. And let's see, that's all you really need to see there. And recording format, of course, I shoot mainly in 4K. And I've got a bunch of samples up on um, 4K. And then I have some slow motion stuff up. I will shoot some slow motion with this in 1080p at 120 frames a second. You can record audio in that too. So if you need that smooth motion and some action like hula hooping or whatever, you can do that. And you can see the other settings I have there. I'm not going to dive into everything here, but I'm just kind of going through so you can see what I've got. Auto ISO, I love that. And I've got my minimum shutter speed at 1 60th. I find that with my stabilized lenses and with the 5 axis stabilization in this camera, 1 60th is good. Even with my 70 to 200 lens, I can shoot at 1 60th as long as the subject I'm shooting is not moving, of course, um, with no problem. And I've got my ISO to go up to 51,200 or whatever the heck it is. Um, we'll get to that. Um, <clears throat> you can see here, how, and I do have creative style on Vivid. I, I do like that look. Of course, some people don't, but that's personal taste. ISO, noise reduction, I have that on normal. Haven't played with that. That was the default. Face detect on. I like that. Okay. Keep going here. Steady shot, of course, is on. Run, run noise reduction on. Okay. So now it goes to the next, the gear symbol. Focus magnifying time, no limit. I like that to just you know when I'm in the zoom in mode on the focus I like to be able to it's to stay like that until I'm ready to take the shot <clears throat> peaking I've got it on red medium uh, pre AF on eh, I may turn that off but for now it's it's working okay it's not really an issue saves time sometimes Release without lens, enabled, because I use some lenses that don't have electronics in them. Release without card, disable that, so you don't accidentally take a picture without a card. <clears throat> Let's see here. A lot of these things are still on the default setting. I'm just kind of pointing out things that I have changed. Okay, let's go here. Function menu. I've made some set, set changes here. You can see here, upper is drive mode, upper two is flash mode, which I really don't need. I don't use a flash. I could reassign that to something else. And three is ISO minimum shutter speed. So if I do want to change that, if I'm shooting action or something and I don't want 1 60th through my minimum, I could bump that up by just going to that function upper three button. Focus mode, focus area, picture profile, then the other buttons, ISO, metering mode, white balance, creative style, and then shoot mode. So that's how I have my function buttons set up. <clears throat> and then the custom keys, and this is kind of critical. Control wheel, we've got ISO. We've got custom button one is movie. So up here I can push the button to start a movie right next to the shutter. Very convenient for me. Focus magnifier is button number two. I do use a lot of um, manual focus, non-electric lenses, and that gets me to zoom in and nail the focus. So it's right next to the movie button, which is very convenient. Steady shot focal length. Again, if I change the, the um, lens to my 40 millimeter Voigtlander, for example, Voigtlander, I want to be able to change that quickly to 40 millimeter. 
and manual focus, custom button four right here. I can quickly toggle to manual focus, which I do often. I'll just hit that button and that way I can hold the focus on whatever I was at. If I, let's say I nailed focus for a portrait or something, I don't want it to drift or whatever. I can lock that or you know, put it on manual. Center button is the focus area. Okay, and then let's see, let's go to two. Drive mode, steady shot focal length. Oh, auto record, audio record level, that's convenient. I can just push right here and I can get right into my audio level. And IAF, that's this button here. I could just push this center button and it'll lock in on the eye, the closest eye to the camera. That's great for portraits. Of course, I do a lot of portraits, so uh, this is set up portrait-centric. Portrait um, and that's not really a, a factor for me because, again, I use this to switch to manual focus. Focus, hold button, focus, hold, okay. So that's all good. <clears throat> Let's go back here. Let's go to 7. Um... Yeah, I could even turn off this movie button because I don't even use that, but I don't accidentally push that, so that's not been an issue. Okay, so let's go to the next. I'm not using anything in here yet. Nothing, no applications yet. Um, okay, monitor brightness. Let's see here. Nothing really, nothing to see here. Move on. So nothing really to see here. And this is where I go off and usually my camera's left right here on format because that's really the only time I go into the menu is when I need to format my card. When I put the card back in, I always format it after I've downloaded all my images and done everything I need and backed them up and all that. Then I go ahead and format the card. Okay. And then folder name, version, that's it. So not that complicated, and so far the setup is, is working real well for me. So that's the setup of my Sony A7S Mark II. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Oh, by the way, I'm using a giant squid mic plugged right into my FZ-1000 to shoot this video. Video is the FC-1000, and the audio is courtesy of my giant squid, Mike. Thanks again for watching. Hey, hit that subscribe button.